It's technology that some find convenient while others find concerning. Facial recognition. With one glance at my locked cell phone, I can unlock it within seconds. On Facebook, if I upload a picture, Facebook can tell me who's in that picture automatically. And most recently, a British broadcaster used facial recognition technology to identify the guests of a very famous wedding. Dubbed Who's Who Live, Sky News partnered up with Amazon Web Services and several data and engineering firms to identify the guests of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's extravagant wedding on May 19th. During the live stream, the names of the guests appeared as subtitles using Amazon's recognition software. What I'll assume that they were doing was picking up their their uh, facial image from, a ca from the camera and then running it against in images off the internet mm -hmm. and would have been finding out information about them there. So... It's interesting and it adds, probably added, I didn't see that part, but it probably added to the uh, to the broadcast itself. Glenn Tinley is the president of Mexia One, a Winnipeg-based company that specializes in facial recognition. He says while the technology is still in its infancy, its rise into mainstream use will happen quickly. I think there's going to be a lot of businesses that are going to start using facial recognition for a lot of different things. Back in February, Mexia One partnered with the Mobile World Congress trade show in Spain to allow the over 100,000 attendees the option of using an entry line powered by facial recognition technology. Every time you go in, you have to use a passport and your tag and get your tag scanned and then check to your passport. And what we were doing was replacing that passport check because once your face had been registered in the system, that allowed you entry into the event without having to show any more ID. But while some may find the technology convenient, others have concerns around privacy and accuracy. Um, I don't like it. Kind of creeps me out a bit. Why does it creep you out? Um, it just makes me uncomfortable. I don't. Uh, I don't even use the fingerprint technology on my iPhones. It doesn't bother me at all, as long as it can't be, I guess, used the way people say with a picture. Yeah. I guess it would have some uh, useful purposes, but some some things would be concerning too, uh, with regard to privacy and uh, so on. I think it's great. Make my life easier. I'm all for it. <laughs> okay, be careful, I guess. Things like Facebook, they you you opt in. You probably don't even know that you've opted in, but somewhere along the line you've clicked on a link that, that allows those permissions to happen. Read the fine print and the people that are providing the service need to be upfront. They, they need to be upfront with it because there's somewhere along the line there's an app or there's something, some other way that they're using that uh, image to collect the data. I think you're going to see facial recognition used uh, very widely over the next three to five years. In Winnipeg, Erica Natividad, City News.